I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh, look at that fucking bitch. Y'all got, got my like emotional toaster on high. My toast is burning right now, I can't take it. <laughs> oh, this music's hella creepy. This off-key piano shit. Which just more and more makes me feel like I'm right. Like, rock stars trying to make me feel stuff and trying to make me feel close to my family so they can punch me in the dick later with my feelings. <sighs> okay. John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. Ah. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt and got the better of him. Ah, shit. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. Yep. You're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. <laughs> this is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Dumb kid. Oh. Fucking it. reindeer and Good thinks boy. he can handle a grizzly now. Come on, Barbie. Time to party. Pa, help me. I'm hurt. You stupid Just asshole. You get down. what you get. That'll learn you. I'm sorry, Garrett. I don't... Oh, that hurt. Oh, shit. We gonna die. We all gonna... Cancel mission. I love that. Is that an option? Just like, fuck it. Let him die. I'll make another one. <laughs> Oh shit. Alright. Alright, hold on. No, wait. We need, um, that's a bolt action rifle. Ah, shit! We're gonna die! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I need to change my weapon. Oh, no, wait. No, wait. I have the red dead thing. I have the. Shit! Ah, that idiot! <laughs> I got the wrong buttons. Okay, hold on now. No. Is that, it only took one? All right, it only took one of those to the head. Lord, y'all, I am not good under pressure. Now go beat his ass, throw him off the cliff. What the Teach him what for. You're going off on your own. You're just a boy. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Oh, Jesus. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. <laughs> Sounds like some foreshadowing, because we know, you know, and I know, I can feel it in my dick. Something's going to happen to John. It's going to happen to him. I don't know what. I don't trust you, Rockstar. I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Oh, that classic line. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't Maybe know. Maybe you died. I'd probably be dead. There you go. Pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. What the? Oh out. God, I'd Captain Drama. You. you know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust what me, the fuck? I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're <laughs> safe. Jesus Christ! All the drama, Jack. Maybe you should be a fucking actor. Come on, so your mama can hit you with a spoon. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. Ooh! Preach, John. Surely that ain't the end of the damn game. It would have rolled credits or something. I would think. Oh shit, that's my turn. Yeah! Nailed it. You... Eat shit! God damn it. They killed Barbie. I'm a little hee haw buddy. Come on, Stubbers. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, Stubbers. What? We're in a damn chest up here. Don't curse. Look at this. They left us a chest. That music says something gonna bite my ass if I open it, but I'm willing to take my chances. Sixteen dollars ain't bad. I know that's what I said. What the? You ain't got to be rude about it, you asshole. Right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. 
Is he going to say thank you? Not a bad day's work. Nope. This is what I'm talking about. He apologizes to dead guys in canyons after they try and shoot his dick off. And then, all right, he may not love Uncle, but, you know, he is out here helping him and stuff. And he ain't even going to say thank you to him. This is what I'm talking about. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, you meant the thing Women yet. and children. As soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. She. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. But it does have a nice ring to it. What's it gonna be? Take a look mm -mm -mm -mm. at that. What's it gonna be? Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Oh, shit. Whatever happens, Is this don't it? come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens. Keep the doors locked and your mother inside. What Promise me, son. Is Promise this? Me. Who is it, Pa? It's just some old friends. You know oh, take shit. Care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. We about to I lose everybody? Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, old man, looks like things is Here it is. settled once and for all. So it They're gonna kill my kid. They're gonna kill There's me. Ooh! I knew it! I knew some shit was coming! Not sure what yet, but some shit. Oh, my lord, y'all. I need a minute. I have so many questions. I know I called it. I knew they weren't done. I knew there was going to be some more shit and John said it and he was all We're going to finish this once and for all. So like this is this is maybe the end end. But now I have so many questions. I'm freaking out a little bit. Are they actually going to kill John? Is Jack going to watch him die? Are they going to make my wife a working girl again? I have so many questions. Are they actually going to kill him? I don't know. If I kill everybody, are they still going to kill me? Can it be avoided? I don't know, I'm freaking out. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it. Let's see. Ow. Ow. I ain't got, I'm, all right. Well, he's definitely gonna die now, cause like, not doing awesome with coverage. Get off our land. That don't sound like old friends. This ain't their land. Was it? Now, I shot him fair and square. Come on. Bird. Ow. You said this was over. Who said this was over? <gasps> Are these, like, government guys? Get out my damn barn, you f stick. Are they going to cart Jack? Not Jack, I'm sorry. Are they going to sneak up behind and... Cart my kid away? I'm taking my revolver out. We gonna shoot the shit out of somebody. I know that. They already dead inside. Fuck, I'm freaking out! What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I appreciate I said, that he had a rifle though. Coming. Oh, okay. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Uncle! Was that supposed to happen? Was that going to happen regardless? Damn it. I'm hit. I need to be shooting back, y'all. It is. They are soldiers. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Get off my damn land. Hang in there, Uncle. I'm going to get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. <sighs> Take Jack and have it. <laughs> Take something. <coughs> God damn it. Don't worry about me. Let's get him out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Yeah. Ain't nothing we can do for him now! That's true. Come on, boy. 
We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Damn double-crossing government sons of bitches. Where's the other one? Eat shit! Ooh, my eyes twitching. Shit. Don't run now. Little sugar britches. Hey. Come on. Now listen. Jack, Gnarly, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. Keep riding and don't look back. Don't be worried about me. We ain't gonna me, catch yeah? up, are we, John? Get going. You stay out of trouble, John. We ain't gonna ain't catch no up, are we, John? Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! Now why don't we put him on one of the fast ones? Whatever. We gonna die, ain't we, John? God damn it. Why are you opening the front door, John? We need a Maltov. That's what we need. Or a stick of dynamite. That'd be real purdy. you just gonna let them take you, ain't you? That way they'll stop chasing your family. I still say dynamite from the loft would have... I'm freaking out. That wasn't a very glorious end. Mother fucker, they killed him. Why didn't we throw dynamite? I didn't want my pistol. I wanted dynamite. Can I redo it? No! John! God damn it! Oh, John, you bastard. Oh, I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh, look at that fucking bitch. Look at that fucking bitch smoking his fucking cigar like he ain't just kill me. Oh, you double crossing motherfucker. Ooh. <laughs> God damn it. I want to do over <laughs> and understand. I want dynamite. They gonna come back and find my body like that too. They just left me out there in the damn dust. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Don't go back for Pa. God damn it, don't go back for Pa. Y'all fucked me up. Y'all got my like emotional toaster on high. My toast is burning right now. I can't take it. <laughs> nope. Nope. I really do want to do over. I want to try again with dynamite <laughs> or a Maltov. I don't know. I think I was going to die either way. I'm scared to reload it. I don't understand. Fuck. But now I can't help but think. Maybe I hit the wrong button. I panicked. Fuck. God damn it, I'm too young to die. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> nope. Oh, you fucking assholes. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it.
1911. That's 38 if I'm mathing right. Who the fuck is that? That was only three years later. What the fuck happened to Abigail? Who the fuck am I? <gasps> no, there's a third one. Did they kill my boy? Did they kill Jack? Okay. Uncle. Okay. 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 Wait. Am I Jack? Now what? I am! I am Jack. Duh, I could have just hovered over me. Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but hmm. well knew of him. A fine man if you want results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired. But Please let this be the guy that Last killed my I daddy. Him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Shoot the shit out of him. It might fail me. I'ma shoot the shit out of him though. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? He sure is. Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My shoot name it. is Jack Marston. You knew my father. You killed my father. I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. Ooh. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure as shit found me. You killed my father. That's true. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. Are they about to flip the script on me? shoot you like one, too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Oh, we're gonna duel? We're gonna fucking duel? Okay. That's fine. He'll die all the same. We awful damn close to each other to be dueling. Awful close. Okay. Shoot you in the heart, but you ain't got one. Holy shit! Did y'all see his head? Oh my god, I gave him like a reverse mohawk. What the f It looked like a damn saw went through it. We're gonna take a closer look at that. I know it's morbid. I know it's macabre. I don't care. We gotta go look. Yeah. We're gonna pretend like heroes don't look bad. Oh no, wait! No! No, I need to go back and look at his head! Wait! Well, at least he's dead. Holy shit, we did it! Holy shit, we did it. Oh man. Fuck you, Ross. Aw, oh, that music's pretty. It don't fit with all my vin vinegar. <gasps> wow. Okay, so I don't have a number to put to the game. And at some point I should probably figure out like categories and stuff and some kind of rubric to to actually more formally give feedback on games, but sorry, I got lost in the music, y'all. The ADHD is hard. It's strong. Oh, hard and strong. Oh, God, it's getting worse. Man, what a ride. So there's some stuff I loved. There's some stuff I hated. The story was somewhat predictable in places. The controls baffled me at times. I still didn't have them down by the end of this trying to push three and four buttons at a time, but maybe that's because I'm an idiot. I found the control scheme kind of rough. Um, Y'all know how I feel about some of those side quests and characters, and they just felt super try hard. And I didn't see, like I, I can't immediately recall a lot of character development out of John. That said, 
the story was beautiful and tragic. John was an incredibly interesting and beautifully flawed human. And this whole game feels like an incredible reflection on whether the means justifies the ends and the motivation of people and how far it will take them to get what they want and keep what they have. The environments were great. I appreciated that it did a good job leading you from town to town and, and mostly exploring things, though there were a lot of dead spaces in between and not always a lot of incentive to explore them. But I'm really glad I played this. And I think I'd like to play Red Dead 2 as well. Although I expect if the control state the control stayed the same, I'm gonna fumble through that as well. I'm glad Ross is dead. I'm glad Jack is alive. I still have, I need to process John dying like that, but I think, I think maybe we all knew it was, it was always gonna end like that. They were never, right? I mean, Jack nailed it. They're gonna let him do the dirty work and track down all of the guys and save them the trouble of doing it themselves. And then they, they killed the tool they were using. Although I'm not quite sure about Jack. I'm not clear on that point. Like, where where did he really land? Because when it unlocked when the game unlocked him after John's death, it unlocked new outfits like the US Marshal one. But it didn't actually say that Jack was any kind of marshal, and he did just go out there and duel and shoot Ross. So I can't really tell. I can't tell if um, if Jack ended up following in, in John's footsteps or not, or if he's, like, did he keep the ranch? Or is it just empty and that's why we can still sleep in there? I still have questions. I would like to know how Abigail died. And what happened with her. Just fantastic. Fantastic. And I'll tell you this. Very different. And they definitely had different styles about them. But like, I tried to play the the Avatar game that came out recently. And I, I didn't even finish it, y'all. I didn't care about the characters. I thought the missions were dull. I didn't really feel anything. I thought they were predictable. But this one was, this was interesting. And even though I think some of the end game stuff got a little long in the tooth, because it was pretty, again, I, for me, for me, maybe not for everybody. For me, it felt pretty obvious that they were building up your ties and your feelings and this idea of Farmer John um, and giving, giving you this attachment to the farm life that he worked so hard to get back to and the family that he worked so hard to get back to. And it felt like all of that was just being built up so they could do exactly what they did, right? And take it all away at the end. Only to have Jack come back and settle the score after all. And I appreciate that. It would have been like there was a story here to tell. It would have been really easy to to just say, okay, John went back to the farm, the end. So it was really interesting to see John in the this new role of a rancher and you know does he go after the the train robbers or does he not can he leave the life behind or is he so comfortable with the bloodshed and the violence that he's compelled to do those things 
and to see the struggles that he was dealing with and you know the ranch is struggling we got to go let's go herd up some wild horses and stuff and trying to keep it afloat and it was really nice to see all that in the end and it begs the question too I think can a cheetah change its spots so to speak can a man or woman you know just generally can they really change can you really leave a past like John's, like Abby's, behind? Can you ever really escape that life? Maybe you can. I think there are lots of people out there who have changed and who have turned their lives around. Maybe John just wasn't one of them, though it wasn't for lack of trying. Like, but we're so far from the beginning where John was getting on that train. I don't know. There's something kind of peaceful about watching the credits. I think it's respectful to those who made the game. It just gives you a moment to kind of come down off of the high. Oh, shit. Oh, no, we're still... Wait, is his body down there? Holy shit! I gotta, I just, I'm gonna regret this and I can do it. Holy, look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Oh, it's disgusting! Look at it! Oh god! Shoot him again! Alright, we did a thing. I have a lot of thinking about this to do. If you found this, if you're watching it, if you've been with me since the beginning or the middle or hell, if you just stumbled across this video, thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun and I will see y'all on the next one. We're going to we're going to start some Dragon's Dogma when it drops later this week and I'll see y'all there. Y'all take care.